you're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, the newly crowned 147 pound champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, coming off of a, I mean a complete dominant wipeout of the Descrabby, Descrabby, Jeff Horn, I mean, nine rounds of just absolute just destruction in that fight. Terrence Crawford did what he wanted in that fight against a bigger guy than Jeff Horn, and it was just impressive. It was just impressive for that being his first fight at 147, facing a guy like Jeff Horn. That's the same man that beat Manny Pacquiao. Whether you think he won or he lost, he officially beat Manny Pacquiao. So Terrence Crawford went in there and finished what Manny Pacquiao couldn't do. So big salute to Terrence Bud Crawford. Now, going forward, what's next for Terrence Bud Crawford? Whoever the mandatory is, Terrence Crawford need to get the mandatory out of the way. Get him out of the way this year, 2018. Get the mandatory out the way. Earl Spence has done it, and I think fans are starting to understand that champions have to fight mandatories. So when you see your champion going up against a guy that you may never have heard before or a guy that hasn't been out in the limelight, it's because the sanctioning body has ranked them number one. Why are they ranked number one? Who knows? You have to ask the sanctioning body. But whoever the mandatory is for Terrence Crawford at 147, get him out the way so you can be free and clear in 2019 to actually take on some big fights, some voluntaries, big fights. So if that mandatory is going to be Jose Benavidez, who was the brother of David Benavidez. If that's the fight, then, you know, Terrence Crawford should take on that fight. I wouldn't take on Jose Benavidez unless, you know, he, he was the mandatory. They've had words before. They've definitely had words before in the past. There's interviews and videos out there of them two going back and forth arguing. But, you know, if Terrence Crawford is going to take on a voluntary, it should be somebody that's of a higher caliber than Jose Benavidez. And that's no disrespect to Jose Benavidez. He's actually the first person to, uh, to follow me on the gram, on my boxing uh, on my boxing Instagram, uh, Box with G5 Jeff TV. He's the first boxer to actually follow me. So, you know, big shout out to him. But... You know, Terrence Bud Crawford, he's one of the best in boxing. And he needs to free up his schedule with him being a new champion. Now, outside of a mandatory, who could he fight at 147? He's rumored with Amir Khan. I just don't see it happening because for Eddie Hearn to sign Amir Khan and for him to risk Amir Khan or Kell Brook in a fight prior to them two fighting. I just don't see it happening. But if it was to happen, that's a great money fight for Terrence Crawford. And that's also a great recognition fight. If I was Terrence Crawford, I would actually travel out to the UK and actually get that fight, even though he's the champion. I would get that fight in the UK or he can fight him in Vegas. And it's going to be a big fight regardless. It might be more money out there in the UK if he out to chase that bag. But that's a really, really good fight. Um, Saddam Ali would be a good fight for Terrence Crawford at 147 for a title defense. That'd be a good fight. 
Um, let me see. That's the PBC side, but I'm going to mention them anyway. Um, just a stay busy fight. I would say maybe a maybe a Andre Berto. Maybe an Andre Berto. Uh, Terrence Crawford, Devin Alexander would be a good fight. But like I said, those are PBC guys. And you're just not saying that Bob Arum and, and Al Heyman haven't worked before, but they haven't worked on a consistent basis. So it's going to be interesting to see the kind of fights that Terrence Crawford can get outside of the top-ranked scope. And especially with ESPN being heavily invested in Terrence Bud Crawford. Um, I just want Terrence Crawford to be busy. I just want for him to be busy. Um, 147, it, it may be the most top-heavy division in boxing. Because you have Spence, you have Terrence Crawford, and then you have Keith Thurman. And then you have Danny Garcia, and you have Sean Porter. Outside of that, everybody else is this B level and under at 147. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. What should Terrence Crawford do next? G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.